Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. Before I get into it, quick shout out to all the new subs. I did want to let you know we're going to have a big live stream later on tonight in Red Dead Online. You can join up. We'll be on both Xbox and PlayStation. Just make sure to sub if you are new, hit the notification bell, and switch it to all notifications on. It'll let you know whenever we go live. Today, we're going to look at the secret tunnel, which you can find here in Lemoyne. There's a very dark history and it's all surrounding Dewberry Creek. Now we are going to start off right here at this broken down cabin. Now there's two things that I have to tell you about when it comes to the Underground Railroad. There are secret tunnels and there are stations. And this right here is a station for the Underground Railroad. I will explain it in a lot more in today's episode. Do me a huge favor, hit the like button. It really helps out. Now you can tell right off the bat, somebody found out that this was a station and that is why it's burnt down. Now when you go down into the basement and you look at the rafters, you will see a bunch of names. Willis Trudell, right here you can find, it's kind of hard to see, let me take out the lantern, that might help out. You can see Elmer Bellomi, 1856. Now the years are between 1851 and 1856. That is all years that are all involving the Underground Railroad. So you may have known about this, maybe you found the names and probably connected it to the Underground Railroad, but it goes much deeper and leads us to the secret tunnel that they used in the area. So you can tell that that basement at Old Trail Rise was a secret hiding spot for the slaves. Now at this point, it is long gone. It has been destroyed, but it takes us to Compson's Stead. Now Compson's Stead will actually lead us to a secret slave graveyard I'll show you that in a moment, but we do have to go to the bottom of the well. There's also a slave dungeon at the basement of Compson's Stead. I'll show you footage of that, but first you do have the mural at the bottom of the well. This shows us probably how many slaves were lost. There are crosses, and I think it leads to the slave graveyard not too far away. So you have a hidden slave graveyard and the abandoned entrance to the secret tunnel for the Underground Railroad. Rockstar is putting this really dark history almost as a mystery. You can connect all the locations together in this one area. Here's footage of the Slave Dungeon, which is in the basement of Compson's Stead. You only get to see this once. And I remember the first time that I unlocked it, I knew that there was something very dark happening. And it turns out, you know, there's a lot more in the area that is connected to this Slave Dungeon. You do pick up a journal, so it shows you all the history of this house. It is pretty messed up. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. Here's Arthur walking around the dungeon. You can see the chains. Luckily, it has been abandoned. Not too far away, you can find the graveyard and the secret tunnel used in the Underground Railroad. I did research many of the names that we found back at the Old Trail Rise. They were hidden up on the rafters in that basement. I believe that Rockstar has used authentic slave names in that basement, historic slaves. Now any slave who tried to escape using that Underground Railroad but did not make it was most likely buried right here at this unmarked cemetery. They look very similar to the ones we saw at the bottom of the well. They're kind of hidden in some shrubs. You can see nothing is marked. It's not a traditional graveyard. Some just have a rock, maybe a collection of stones. This is an unmarked graveyard that was used for the slaves that were trying to escape in the area. It is very sad, but a lot of the names that you would see back at the old trail rise were probably the same people that are buried right here. Now, as far as the ones who did escape, they made it to the secret tunnel, which is fully operational, but at the point of the storyline, right now, the tunnel has been destroyed. We will look at the exact location of the secret tunnel right here in Lemoyne. Two of the largest plantations in the history of America can also be found represented right here in southern Lemoyne, but the secret tunnel is right here. You may have come by this location wondering what is going on. Why is there a small track? which is right next to the main train track. You can also find a hut. Inside the hut, there's a loose floorboard where you can find a special pamphlet. So no clue as to what actually happened here. Well, the same people who destroyed the station 
back to the old trail rise, also destroyed the secret tunnel. This small track leads to what looks like is a dead end, but this was once a secret tunnel. It led right here, and that is where the slaves made their escape. But at this point, it has been collapsed. You can find planks of wood which are left behind. It looks like there might be some stuff in there. Not too sure how important it is. This used to be a fully functional and active secret tunnel as the train passes by. But luckily, at this point of history, all of that is over. There's still some pretty messed up stuff happening in the background. But you can see that people, like the guy who lived at Comps instead, who made money and profited off of this, have been completely ruined. Now, the game gives you a decision. Do you want to let him off the easy way, or do you let him off the way he deserves? I still exist! <laughs> right at nine o'clock, this light will drift away. Many people believe that that is a ghost upstairs at Compson's stead. Even though this is all very dark, it is no doubt still a dark secret with everything being connected here in Red Dead Redemption 2 to the Underground Railroad in Lemoyne. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit the notification button. It'll let you know as soon as we go live here at Trippy Commentaries. We got another big video in the works, so watch out for that. Until next time, stay tuned, and as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?